uh, like sustainability health and wellness have become very uh, conversant and important uh, for our uh, uh, guest in the luxury car market uh, we had done a survey post uh, covid and uh, these two things that is one is sustainability and one is health and wellness came up as number one items uh, uh, in their uh, uh, priority list uh, so to say uh, we are so happy that you know that we have always concentrated very hard on sustainability uh, various initiatives that we have taken under uh, lexus india uh, uh, its own uh, brand number one is that we plant for uh, trees equivalent to the car- reduced carbon emissions that happen due to hybrid emission hybrid vehicles so hybrid vehicles as you know uh, run on mostly on electric uh, uh, power uh, which is self generated which is generated mm-hmm. while the vehicle is uh, actually running so from that point of view uh, there is no external dependence on uh, any grid or anything for charging but since the vehicle runs mostly on uh, uh, these uh, uh, self generated power sources uh there there is a certain time of uh, uh, its uh, journey when the vehicle runs on internal combustion engine so to offset those emissions and uh, those are produced uh, during this uh, process we started planting trees for every car uh, so that equivalent to its life cycle uh, of use uh, these uh, carbon emissions can be offset by these trees so we've grown over 27000 trees now uh, and we are happy and proud to you know be associated with the government of Karnataka to do this initiative uh, we use 100% recycled uh, material uh, basically for uh, plastics that are for uh, the use of uh, dashboard and other things you know that are required uh, more importantly even speakers you know uh, speakers that you hear the, the good quality sound come from bamboo charcoal speakers uh, uh, which produce excellent for noise mm-hmm. quality and are also uh, basically uh, recyclable overall the vehicle itself is more than 97% recyclable leadership strategy uh, i think uh, what is very important for uh, uh, a good leader to be kind of one step ahead of the you know whatever the curve uh, that he or she is uh, expected to encounter so proactive or with the knowledge base that one has acquired becoming predictive rather than being reactive is is a style of leadership that will always uh, pay dividends uh besides this the basic hygiene factors such as being inclusive taking everybody on board uh involving everybody in the decision making are uh, things that uh, actually help uh, uh, develop a very robust solution where everybody takes part and if everybody takes part it's always good because uh, then people tend to kind of merge with the solution very easily but uh, for the role of the leader is to kind of think one step ahead and uh, always be either predictive or proactive that's my side i think a lot has been said or a lot is being said uh, currently around uh, artificial intelligence machine learning and things like that but uh, for us at lexus I, i think what is more important is the human aspect of all of this uh, uh, learning uh there is nothing that can replace human intelligence uh, is our firm belief and uh, the the kind of uh, emo- emotive connect that you bring uh, to the subject using uh, such human intelligence is uh, something that i think will will forge our way ahead uh, we have launched various initiatives and various programs mm-hmm. yes technology comes as a big enabler in terms of you know supporting you but the core message what you want to do how you want to do it uh, may be uh, you know uh, kind of supported but not led by technology i think there's a overarching the feeling that uh, people are thinking that you know machines will replace humans and artificial intelligence is going to be the way forward etc etc our opinion is machines will be driven by humans machines will be told what to do and then they will support humans in taking business uh, decisions here it's important that you give your mind a certain rest uh, at the end of a very cluttered day when you had uh, say mondays are typically a crazy day to you know have uh, typically what i tend to do is i fall back on uh, the traditional yoga mechanism and uh, i have uh, uh, been practicing yoga for the last uh, maybe over uh, 17 18 years uh, the idea is that you know that uh, this gives you a certain level of mental peace and balance uh, which is uh, very important 
it gives you it kind of control all deletes your systems it gives you a complete uh, recharged uh, mind uh, at the end of uh, the uh, session whenever it is possible uh, not due to my business travel etc it is not possible always but 3 to 4 days a week i do tend to you know kind of indulge into yoga practice and uh, we have a very learned guru who is uh, teaching us uh, about this the second way is to you know kind of connect with yourself give yourself some some me time and for me my me time is uh, when i take my pet out for a walk in the evenings and uh, that's the time that i typically reflect on the day that has gone by uh, the good the bad the ugly and prepare myself for the next day so that i can actually uh, take care of uh, whatever business needs that are there uh, for the next day so basically it, it's it's always going to be uh, challenging but at the same time you have to give space to yourself otherwise uh, the mind gets cluttered and your decision making may become uh, fudgy